Good morning everybody. RV Prepper is Wayne here. Today we're going to install a micro air on an RV AC. Shouldn't take too long. Four wires. Get it mounted in. What we've already done is tried it with my generator. My little uh, 2000 watt generator. No start. With this, it should be able to start when we're done. So what do you say, let's get up on the roof and let's do some damage. All right, the unit we have here is the Dometic. I already drilled my hole to run my wire into the electrical box. I gotta zip tie this up. Got that taped up. And I'm gonna mount the unit actually right there which will not interfere with nothing that is there. That's just uh, plastic goes through. Um, the manual tells you to mount it in here, but if I do, I'm gonna have a lot of extra wire in here. So that's why I mounted it out there. As long as the wire is zip tied up, it's fastened. It's not going anywhere. Like I said, I drilled my hole here, put my grommet in. Now I just got to plug my wires up and splice them together. So, let me get in and show you which wire is for what. First thing I have to do is check the white wire that goes on the back of the compressor. You have a red, a white, and a blue. Go America. So what I've done is I pulled the white wire off, I traced it back down to where it goes onto the capacitor here. And verified that is the correct wire so what I'm gonna do is cut this end off and then I'm going to splice this brown wire into that white wire right there okay I have the brown wire and the white wire spliced together with this connector here I will end up putting some tape around this and then the white wire coming from the easy start, the micro air, connects to where you pulled this white wire here off. Okay, now what we have to do is follow the red wire. It comes over to the capacitor here. And there's only one red wire that's in here. And the orange plugs into where the terminal is for the red wire. Don't have to unplug the red one, this just plugs in. Now what we need to do is the black wire, we need to cut the blue wire here and splice the black and the two blue wires together. Okay, I have the blue and the black spliced together now. I have yellow tape on there, help secure the wires. I got to run around here. I got it zip tied here, a little bit of yellow tape, zip tied, and it goes around. Now what we need to do is the start capacitor that's down here. We need to disconnect it, which is easy. You just follow the two wires to where they go here, and we will disconnect it. Simple enough as just following the, the wires like so I'll plug it these are said and done yeah come on yeah okay you can see that's out of the way now we follow this other black wire which is up here Reach down with my needle nose pliers, plug it, it's disconnected, it's out of the way. Now, it's out of the way. And what we'll do is you push the wires down. Some people will remove this capacitor, I'm not. I'm gonna leave it in here because if the always do that that way if the 
owner goes to sell the coach and he wants to keep this he can easily put that back in so now all we got to do is just get it put back together I have the planes flying all over the place interrupting my video process Now all I need to do is mount the unit. I've already taken the alcohol wipes and cleaned over here and cleaned the back of this. I'm gonna put the sticky strips on the back and mount it up there. And I may take two screws just to kind of help hold it secure. As I said, there's nothing back here that's gonna interfere with the screws. Have the side cover back on, double checked everything mounted firmly wires not going to be in the way of anything whatsoever now I just need to put the cover on and then we go downstairs and we go through the learning process of this very simple and then we're gonna test it on the generator okay now that we're inside what we have to do is cycle the compressor five times basically turn it on let the pressure kick in let it run for uh, a, a minute or two and then we can shut it back off and then you're gonna wait a couple minutes you have to let that pressure drop back down in the uh, in the compressor itself and turn it back on we have to do that five times now one thing we do have is something cool I have a, a plug-in module that goes into the 30 amp connection so I know how much power I am pulling volts watts amps everything I know right here let me kind of show you here right now we are pulling 486 watts we're 121 volts and we're pulling 4.3 amps go ahead and kick compressor in and we're gonna watch what this does here on the first run when the compressor kicks in okay a minute ago we actually lost connection uh, but we have a connection we got it back I had to move the uh, the Bluetooth thing a little closer I'll show you what that is on the outside here in a little bit but now uh, go ahead we're gonna turn it back on and it actually the Second time we had it kicked in, it was like 1350. Wow, well, compressor kicked in. Look at that 1305, 1328, 1381. That's 1300 watts with the compressor kicking in and running. Wow, that is a big difference. It doesn't have that hard kick like it normally would but with the micro air you know it's 1372 a small generator will run that so we got to do this two more times okay the generator I have is a Yamaha it's the uh, EF 2000 IS version 2 uh, inverter generator I got it set on e eco mode right now it's kind of surging a little bit. I got to pull the carburetor off and clean it, but that's not going to affect the test at all. As you can tell right now, we're pulling. Uh, well, it's hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell. Energy watts, 95 watts. Me knock on the side here and have him turn that on. It's kicked in, pulling and right there is the AC compressor that kicked in. So guess what? It's running off of that. And just to show you, this is the cord. It loops, comes around, it loops, it loops, it loops comes up plugged into his coach 1300 watts 
1400 now roughly that's actually 100 watts less because you have the other stuff that's running as well that's eating up roughly 100 watts so we're pulling roughly 1320 watts but with everything running she's going okay now we have it all completed hey micro air if you're listening hey my contact info is down below let me know I can test one out on an older AC system and really put it to the test on a bonus note for those that stayed and watched to the end with this micro air micro start on this AC when it kicks in before it would be a real hard slam like you're basically hitting a brick wall now it's a gradual like you're climbing up a hill so much easier easier on the electrical system easier on the batteries easier on the inverter everything so much better it's actually going to help the AC lasts longer because the compressor is not kicking in as hard. It's a win-win. Thanks, guys. Questions, comments, please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I will see you all in the next video.